Good morning. Today is a very good day. It's 418 of 2013. Not only that, it's beautiful because this is a 60 minute chart. Yes, it is on Google. And you can see where Google would sell down here and then come back and rally back up and test it. And then it's made lower lows on the 60 minute chart. The highs that you can see today, the high was only 785. But where there's double top reversals were at 796. They report quarterly earnings. You can see what 60 minute reversal bars look like straight down MMTs. Half bar closing below, 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 below. And then we finally hit the bottom. Each one of these lines are one quarter delta, one fourth delta in our platform, and that's three dollars and nineteen pennies. And we went down exactly 5.13 one quarter delta, five times three dollars and nineteen cents. Well, you do the math, it was minus sixteen dollars and thirty three cents at the time. One of the things that I would like to point out is the intraday price action range in Google on this earnings day as of 10:17 a.m. We're not even at the closing bell. It's going to make the really big moves after the close. That's why we're letting people know what it's going to do now. And you, we can clearly see that it hasn't had a correction like this all calendar year. No, it has not. The highs were 844. We're coming down here to 768.84. So we're definitely not nearly as overbought when we were up there when we had called a short on Google because it was extremely overbought in that bull run that people get caught in all the time. It's easy to do. People will ride them down. They, it's the best name out here, but the quarterly reports is providing the 60 minute price volatility. And what they like to do is that the lower they can get the prices down, then they feel that they're getting a good deal when they buy them. And who is they? All the institutional people. The bigger people that have the money, they're the ones that uh, take advantage of the high frequency lower bids because they know if they buy that eventually whatever the price is going to be. This is just intraday right now on Google. And what I want people to know is you're only $2.44 off of the low. You're still $17.13 off of the high. Intraday high right here. Intraday range in our MMT platform. $3.19 per one quarter delta, one fourth. That's what the it equals in dollars and cents. And that's how accurate they are. One, two of those is six dollars and let's say thirty-eight cents and that one sixty minute bar. That's a nice drop. But look at the amount of distribution sixty minute bars we have on the way down. We have very little green bars. Every time we go up two one quarter deltas, it gets slammed right back down at this particular mathematical equation where the high frequency runs those bids down very quickly to the bottom. That's what's been going on in the high frequency algorithm. Instead of buying it like it was, it's decided to sell it. And not only that, that's on that intraday level, MMT. And it's a 60 minute reversal. Look at the amount of red bars. Yes, you do rally up one, two, three, four, five of those. That's a $20 rally. Or I mean, five of those is a $15 rally right here. See, $3.19, but we'll take a look. Each line is $3 and it went up one, two, three, four, five. Five times three dollars and nineteen cents. Then it had this reversal again, all the way down to the bottom, where it's on sell. It's wholesale down here, on an intraday level only, and we're using a sixty-minute bar, but they're still having a distribution as of ten twenty a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, my friends, it's an alert. It comes from our market making division, so that when you're going to buy calls and puts. And you're going to be involved in the program. You're going to get trading capital. You're going to get all the things that you need. You can't go wrong because you got the back end management. You've got the market maker working for you as he always does. And not only that, it's an after hours earnings event. It'll have a lot of price. We will give those orders out later on when we go back and look at the daily. Remember, the headline volatility will come at the close. Okay. 
the intraday range in price is what it is. But this is how an earnings is going. At least they're selling the name down going into the report, which is good for it to pop. Because the thing about it is, it's it's not up here at $840 or $820. No, it's not. It's down here at 766.23 on the intraday low. And the time is 1021 AM, 4-18-2013 as, as of right now on the intraday price range. That's what the reality is. Yes, it has earnings after the closing bell. Yes, it will be very volatile. Yes. Would people know how to trade that? No. And depending on how much of this, see, we're down. When you're going down $20, part of that after hours gap is already built in the current price. So if people are, so you already got $20 to the downside built in. So when you're trading and earnings, you have to be trained because you got to know that that $20 down in the name at the time was at this price right here. So let's go back here. Let's go through it. It's right here. $19.57. But let's just, that means that if they have something bad to say, you already have $20 of it. Let's just use round off the number. Built in the gap down already. It's already priced it in. Yes, it has. And you, you know, the thing about it is that um, they could drop it. 25 to 40 dollars in after hours but it would be in milliseconds it would be so fast we'll have it live we just want you to know where the name is trading going into the earnings we want you to know that it's 10 23 a.m mmt's so that you are able to go back to this very 60 minute chart mmt and take a look exactly how it trades going into the reporting session today after the closing bell, it will release a quarterly report. Then you're going to learn the price volatility from the headline. Then you're going to learn how that high-frequency algorithm model works. You're going to get trained to steal the prices at the lower bids. Intraday update. Google printing 200 pennies off of the bottom. Right now, 766.23 the low. The ask is 768.62. This is a 60 minute chart. I will just give everyone a reference as to what their market maker chart on a three minute level looks like because this is very important. You can see on the three minute level up here where that top reversal happened and where every time it hit that diamond resistance, it slid down the volatility up to the half bar with the reversal the diamonds are descending and the market and this is a market maker platform this is not a regular one but we made the lower lows and we put in this long term low right here as of this time this is that low from that selling right here and we can see what the ranges are each one of these 16ths are 80 cents on google that's a one sixteenth, so they're they they've expanded in value to eighty cents per line. But let's take a look at how accurate it is. It's come up one, two, three, four, one sixteenths, four teenies, times eighty cents is three dollars and twenty cents off of that low. And then right when it gets up there, MMT, what happens? It has a reversal. One teeny, two teeny, and a three teeny script is right back here. That's how they set these bottoms up. But this is what that bottom looks like. And they're very accurate. So that's a three minute cap shot. Once again, earnings day for Google. They've had $1,000 targets put on it. They've had $980 targets. They have extremely high value, the analyst community does, going into this report because Google acted so beautiful in its bull run to 844 for us that this is a pullback that stocks need to have so that that money on the sideline could take a shot at buying it. Buy the dips, sell the rips. That's what we do. Don't have to have any training. We will train you. You don't have to. In fact, anything that you've learned in the in the past, you'll just discard that, and we'll teach you the market maker way. Today, 